Hello beautiful people, it is your girl Alvi here and I'm back again with another video. Today we are in my bedroom because today we are talking about my bed! Super, super excited, can you tell? So I am really excited because this video is in partnership with Nest Bedding and they have just been amazing to work with and I want to share with you guys what that was like. So in this video, we're going to be talking about my bed, but specifically my mattress. So if you do not know, um, if you haven't been hanging out with me for that long, and I will leave like all other relevant videos and what's not um, for you guys to catch up. But in short, um, we moved, kicked my daughter out of our room and into her own room. This was an opportunity for us to reclaim our bedroom, give it like a much needed like sanctuary, Huga inspired retreat type of refresh. And that started for us with getting a new mattress. So in this video, I'm gonna kind of just give you guys um, some insight into why we needed to change our mattress, what that whole shopping process was like, and then just kind of the full 411 on the mattress we ended up going with. And I'm also gonna be sharing with you guys some tips just in case you planned on changing your mattress or had thoughts to do so and weren't sure where to start or what to look for um, and all that jazz. I shop so you don't have to. I'm going to be filling you guys on a little bit of tips and tricks and things to look for in your own online, especially online, mattress shopping experience. So if any of that sounds like your jam, let's jump into this video. Um, our refresh for us before we go into like any furniture or styling or painting or any of that started with the mattress. We had purchased our first mattress together as a couple when we moved to Washington. Fast forward maybe about like a month or two, I wasn't as comfortable as I would like to be. We reached out to the company. Unfortunately, um, we were outside of like any return or exchange window. So you know, we were stuck like Chuck, pretty much. And um, two months turned to six months, turned to a year. And I definitely started to notice a little bit more discomfort in my sleep, um, but also so did my husband. And that's when I was like, yeah, see? Mm -hmm. I was once told that comfort helps you fall asleep, support helps you stay asleep. We were definitely not getting the support we needed. Um, and we're no longer getting the comfort we needed, to be honest. So I decided that at some point we were going to change our mattress. Hella high water, like I'm not gonna just be uncomfortable, you know? I went through my own process of what I knew our next mattress had to be. First things first, I knew I wanted another bed in the box. Our that mattress, the one that we were replacing, was a bed in a box. And what a bed in a box mattress is, and you've probably seen tons of them all over the interwebs, it's literally a mattress that comes in a box. So it comes compressed, so it's like vacuum sealed and rolled up like a burrito, compressed into a box. So the biggest value in that is obviously the delivery. But I knew I was not going to do another memory foam mattress. That was, no my mattress needed to be firm so leave it to me to realize halfway through filming that like the washer and dryer were going and i didn't turn them off so hopefully that didn't make the beginning of this video all that awful but <laughs> i just realized and turned them off in any case my husband realized that he actually doesn't like soft mattresses either and people hear soft and plush and they're like oh that sounds amazing why wouldn't i want soft and plush but really you need to think about like is that going to support the way you sleep whether you're a back sleeper a stomach sleeper a slide sleeper if you have like snoring like sleep apnea issue things um back problems upper back lower back hip problems like there's so many factors that go into it i knew i wanted a spring mattress um, but not like the spring mattresses of like yesteryear. But what I loved about a spring mattress was um, it was, you would get great bounce from them, but also support. So there was never any risk of like sinking or anything like that. 
And so I had known that there are different mattresses that come with encased coils, which basically is the same concept of, you know, its predecessor at the spring. So I would get that same bounce and buoyancy and support that a spring mattress gets. But the great thing about it being wrapped, aside from the fact that the metal and all that jazz, is that um, it minimizes like the transfer of motion so if I got out of bed um, to go work out while my husband's still sleeping it wouldn't disturb him and if I was being really really greedy because I had no problem with like memory foam like I've used memory foam mattress toppers um, and those are super comfortable to kind of like it's like the best of both worlds so to speak so if i was going to be really really ambitious i wanted a hybrid that essentially had like the memory foam topping with the coils so i'm getting the support but a little bit of softness and cooling features that comes with memory foam um that is what i was going to be looking for in my next mattress that was like my little wish list so to speak and doing all of my research that led me to nest bedding and Aside from the fact that, first and foremost, literally everything I just told you on my wish list, they checked off like every single box. Like it was bananas, it was crazy pants. But they had so many other amazing features that really kind of made it a no brainer for me to go with a nest bedding mattress. The mattress that I specifically ended up falling in love with because it checked off all of the boxes, the Alexander Series Hybrid, it's the same mattress that Aisha Stephen Curry sleep on. I'm just saying, if that's not a sign, I don't know what is. So like any other bed in a box mattress, it came in a box. Because this isn't my first rodeo with a bed in a box, I kind of already had certain expectations. So one being off gassing. Mattresses, depending on where they made, how they made, whether they're a bed in the box or like traditional, tend to kind of give off like a smell. So I was expecting off gassing. I was expecting to need it to give it time to kind of really get in formation, really fluff up at least an hour, um, at minimum half an hour to kind of really get itself together. I got none of the above. It took its full form easily in less than 10 minutes like we unwrapped it my husband turned it around and I was I was pulling out like the wrapping that was kind of keeping it like the plastic covering before I even got the wrapping like to the door to like put it out for garbage the mattress was already like fully formed so legit less than 10 minutes blew my mind um, and there was no off gassing like I smelled nothing which is really dope because we un we opened our mattress it was like evening time it was like 7 p.m my time so i was like oh so i can actually go to sleep at like nine and be fine cool so in like about a month or so i'll give you guys like the how it sleeps update um like a true review um but i so far as of recording this video we've had it for like about a week now like sleeping on it and we are absolutely obsessed definitely 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 notice a difference and if you learn nothing from me in this video keep in mind mattresses are not one size fits all like at all i could not have moved forward with our bedroom in the way that i wanted to the way that i envisioned without having a mattress that was comfortable what is the point of having a good looking bedroom and especially one that I wanted to be calming and cozy and relaxing but every time I wake up I'm sore or I'm still tired um, kind of defeats the purpose of everything else that's going on around me and so this was like a major major must that um, I had to check off the list and I am so thankful that I was able to partner with Nest Bedding to make this happen. Like I said, we've been sleeping on our mattress for like the past week now. And I'm not saying like a week is kind of like the, the perfect indicator, but I've definitely noticed a difference from what we had to what we have. My husband has absolutely noticed a difference. And so that, that in itself says something. I will leave all the information um, about our mattress and about nest bedding and I really hope that you found this video to be helpful and let me know in the comments 
when's the last time you changed a mattress how often do you change your mattress um i would love to know because i feel like up until becoming like a full grown-up i never really gave my mattress a second thought so i'd love to know um where you guys land on all of that again thank you for hanging out with me today i really hope you guys found this to be helpful the mattress is in so i am going to be tackling our bedroom soon and i am super geeked for what i have planned in this bedroom um which includes better sleep so i will see you guys in my next video bye